हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज मेजरमेंट बाय पार्किंसन गेयर टेस्टर सो द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द गेयर आर मेजर्ड बाय दिस पार्किंसन गेयर टेस्टर सो पार्किंसन गेयर टेस्टिंग मशीन इज जनरली यूज्ड टू कैरी आउट कॉम्पोजिट गेयर इंस्पेक्शन so what is composite gear inspection or composite action composite action refers to the variation in the center distance when a gear is rolled in tight mesh with a standard gear so let us consider a gear is engaging with a standard gear so the variation in the center distance when this gear is rolled in tight mesh with that of the standard gear is called as the composite action so this composite tolerance will reflect gear run out tooth to tooth spacing and profile variations so if we want to measure the composite gear inspection using this composite gear inspection then we can get the values of or the deflections of run out tooth to tooth spacing can be known and profile variations can be known with this composite gear inspection or parkinson gear machine this parkinson gear machine is a popular gear testing machine which is used in metrology laboratories and tool rooms the gear which has to be measured or inspected will be made to mesh with a standard gear and a dial indicator is used to capture the radial errors so the gear which we are going to inspect we have to see that it is meshing with the standard gear and there is a dial indicator which is used to capture the radial errors So the parts of these machines or machine are it consists of a table there is a base then there is a scale there is a dial indicator there is sliding carriage and a master gear or the standard are the different parts of this machine now we will see how this machine is working here the master gear or the standard gear is mounted on a fixed frame so this frame is fixed the gear which is being inspected is fixed on a sliding carriage so here this is the sliding carriage and this is the gear which we are going to inspect sliding frame or sliding carriage these two gears are mounted on mandrels which will facilitate accurate mounting of the gears in the machine so both the gears that is the standard gear and the gear which is being inspected are mounted on the mandrels they facilitate accurate mounting of the gears in the machine what happens after they get mounted on these mandrels they will help the dial indicator to provide measurements of irregularities under the in the gear under inspection so this if they are mounted on the mandrels then it will be helpful to get the irregularities indicated in the dial indicator mandrel will help for accurate mounting of gears in the machine so in this machine a dial indicator of high resolution is used to measure the composite error so i have already told that the composite error will reflect the errors due to run out tooth to tooth spacing and profile variation now the working of this machine 
so to start with the two gears are mounted on the mandrels and the slide which is comprising that is the fixed frame will be fixed at a convenient position so first thing what we do is the gears are mounted then the sliding carriage which is carrying the gear which has to be inspected is moved along the table and the two gears are brought into mesh then the sliding carriage base is also locked in position the position of the two mandrels is adjusted in such a way that their axial distance is equal to the gear center distance as per the drawing so the two mandrels are adjusted in such a way that their axial distance is equal to the gear center distance so the gear center distance and the mandrel distance will be same if this is the gear center distance then the mandrels are also at the same distance with each other of the two gears one on the fixed carriage that is the standard gear the other on the sliding carriage which is the gear which we are inspecting here the sliding carriage is free to slide for small distance on steel rollers under a light spring force so this sliding carriage will be free to move on steel rollers or it can roll on the or slide on the steel rollers for small distance under a light spring force so here there is a spring provided for the sliding of this carriage a vernier scale is attached to the machine which enables measurement of center distance up to 25 micro meter so here there is a scale which is a vernier scale it is attached to the machine and it can measure the center distance up to 25 micrometer the dial gauge is set to zero and the gear under inspection is rotated so for first reading the dial gauge is set to zero and the gear under the inspection is rotated radial variations of the gear being inspected are indicated by the dial indicator so this dial indicator will give the radial variations once this gear is rotated it will indicate the radial variations which have to be noted down this variation is plotted on a chart or a graph sheet which indicate the radial variation in the gear for one complete rotation so the variations which we obtain from this dial indicator are noted down and when we plot them on a chart or a graph sheet so it will indicate the radial variation in the gear for one complete rotation many improvisations are possible to this basic machine so a waxed paper recorder can be fitted to the machine so the trace of the variations of a needle in contact with the sliding carriage is made simultaneously so here the improvisations can be made on this machine and a waxed paper recorder is fitted to the machine so that whenever the variations are occurring then it will be traced on this waxed paper and a mechanism can be designed to provide high degree of magnification so this is how a parkinson gear testing machine works